Shame yourself this way, idiot!
was expected. You are right. A master intends to kill you. I will not let his bullying stop my research. Tonight there is an eclipse. I intend to chronicle it. But the master hunts for you. Better to die enlightened than to live in ignorance. His end will come much sooner than yours. Silencing the truth will not stop its spread. People are lazy. They will believe what we tell them to believe. I have sent my best man to find Copernico. You are already too late. Requiescat in pace.
Is the world not marvelous? Some of it. You should not be so emotional. You will find it all makes more sense that way. Perhaps. Cesare thinks himself the center of it all. But he circles the periphery with the rest of us. And did you know that the sun is most likely the midpoint of the universe? Not the Earth? I see the movements of the moon and stars, and yet I can only observe. So much is unknown to me. This age of reason is but the beginning of an end I will never see. Someday we will be able to influence this world, to exploit the power of human will, to harness light and perhaps even travel into the heavens. But I am getting ahead of myself. First, we must see the sun spinning at the center. I believe what you say is possible. You should not accept my word. Not until I have proof. Soon. Buonanotte, Ezio. And thank you.
<laughs> Ezio. La Volpe. I'm surprised to see you. And why have you appeared at my door? Wait, I know the answer. You always do. You want to put my spies to work? Then join me. In aiding Machiavelli? No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. A serious allegation coming from a thief. What is your proof? He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he abandoned you right before the villa attack. Machiavelli may not please all tastes, but he is an assassin, not a traitor. I am not convinced. Uh, he is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Care to accompany me? I will follow.
What do you make of that? Claudio has been injured! They are going to shoot him. I will kill these. Go, get the others. From the guards. I cannot. They are going to kill me. Pay attention. Do what I do. This way. Claudio! Molte grazie, Messeri. Keep out of sight for a while, Desi. The guards are looking for you. I see they have posters up. Then rip them down. You can pay the heralds a few florins to silence them. Or I can eliminate witnesses. <laughs> you know how to disappear. Yeah. 
What a night this has been. Volpe, listen to me. I know what we saw, but you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. I am sure of it. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the Order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgias stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. Yes. Hmm, I like that idea. Then I will make it so. Welcome, Ezio, to La Volpe Addormentata. The inn looks perfect. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. The guild will be run from here. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate if you wish. Perhaps you will show them a thing or two. Ah, yes, I forgot. We also have gambling. It is a great source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. <laughs> Molto bene. Come to Isola Tiberina with your findings. I shall.
losing him. I see him. Go, go. Excellent. Hurry, get him. It's you. 
I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Rome. What was that? Salahi, is that you? It's you. I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. Unfortunately, I cannot stay. I'm here to charter a ship. Let me assist you. I know a captain. He's very discreet. Hang on, I have the name recorded somewhere. What are you working on? Oh, this? A hobby of mine. Of course you are familiar with Pythagoras. Remind me. The brilliant scholar from Grecia, who discovered many secrets about the heavenly spheres and their cosmos. These symbols come from him? Ever since my exploration of that strange apple, they have been stamped on my mind. I found symbols like them in the writings of the Pythagorean disciples. I am afraid the captain's name escapes me. The apple has been put to rest. Perhaps it would do you good to focus on painting. You seem to be doing decent work on this one. Ha! <laughs> you are kind. However, even I can see that she is badly drawn. And that smile, overdone, meaningless. But forget painting. I made a breakthrough in my research several days ago. A huge discovery. Salai! Can you bring them? Oh, he's not back. I intended to accompany you to the docks, but we cannot leave my workshop without my assistant. Bene. An easy task. I am afraid you underestimate Salai. Hmm. Wait and see. Suit yourself. You will likely find him at La Volpe Addormentata. I told you those dice were lucky. Fortuna wishes she were as good as me. Gian Giacomo. I do not answer to that name. Salai. Better, but not good enough. Yes! Di nuovo! Leonardo, your master requests your presence. Let him wait. No. <laughs> nice hood. Are you one of Julius's monks? My church is not of God. Outside the kingdom of God is the realm of men. You worship there, Messere? Come with me and find out. It has been fun, but I must go. Please, do not depart. The game is not finished. Sorry, but a better offer has arisen. Lead on, Messere. The three men from the dice game follow us. Stay quiet. Why? Sentite! I am done playing! So are we! Assassino! <laughs> Whatever this is about, leave the ultimate, please! Please, don't let me leave. 
Please, God, let me live! I swear, I have nothing to do with anything! Man, after him! Please, God, let me leave. Please, God, let me leave! Whatever this is about, leave me out of it, please! There is only one man in Roma who can put on a show like that. You must be Ezio Auditore. Come. We need to return to Leonardo right away. You do not talk much, do you? Fine. I will run ahead. You catch up. Strangers do not quit. Disciples wearing similar robes appeared once before. They sought an object I had in my possession. You mean the piece of Eden? Leonardo told you. It tells me everything. I fear his indiscretion has cost us greatly. We must warn him. Say no more. I know the best route home. I take it every morning after the taverns close. Follow me! The Turk has completed his advance upon the kingdom of Montenegro. It's summer. Hey, you don't own that. A little respect. I'm going around. Yeah. What the? Have some fun on the 
rooftop. Leonardo told me that he had discovered something important. He's been exploring a hidden catacomb for years now. I think he came to Roma to find it. You have no idea what he is like. He works on this all the time. He never takes me out. He's so cheap. I have to beg him for money. He actually gives coins to you? More or less. What he does not know will not hurt him. Allora, you're from Firenze. Tell me more. Fine. I will use my imagination. in the day for fighting. Follow me! Leonardo discovered something in the catacombs. He found the entrance to a temple. Something he read about in his books. I've not seen him that excited in years. Did he say anything else? That the temple contains the perfect number. Something discovered by some scholars from Grecia. Pythagoras. Try this on for size. Attack! You want to get back quickly? Avoid their swords. Knowing Leonardo, I suppose he spoke of his discovery to whomever would listen. Did you notice any robbed men around him? Why would I spend my time at the workshop when I can go out and have fun? Ask the master himself when we get there. They took him. No, he must be here. The temple he discovered, where is it? Leonardo. Salai, if you want to save him, tell me where the temple is. I do not know. Cazzo. Ezio, something is written on the floor. What does it say? I cannot read. Leonardo promised to teach me, but now... Villa. Paintings. He wants us to examine art? I remember when Leonardo lived at your villa, he was researching the location of the catacombs. Several of his paintings hung in the gallery there. What do they have to do with the temple? Perhaps the pages of his research are hidden in one of the frames. The paintings are gone. They all burned in the attack. No, they did not. Only Leda and St. John, the Borgia, took the rest. Six paintings. Five. I told the art merchant that Portrait of a Lady was by Leonardo. I needed the money for a doublet. Of course, now it has gone out of fashion. Who has the paintings now? Lucrezia Borgia, in her husband's palazzo outside Ferrara. Then it is time I took back what was stolen. <laughs> 